Sam. Sam? Your lovely Samantha won't be answering you, Sergeant O'Brannon. Or shall I call you Peter Brenner? Isn't that interesting? An immigrant from the heart of communism-infested Europe enters illegally a secret service facility designed to protect our freedom against the Reds. Who are you? And what did you do to Sam? I am Agent Smith, and your companion is next to me, still alive and only slightly hurt. <laughs> I'm no kidding, Agent Smith? You CIA morons aren't very creative, are you? You'll stop laughing soon enough. Proceed to the next exit and surrender yourself to the troops outside. Not to those inside. They're not responding, and therefore we have to consider they're already dead, infected, or out of their mind. You are authorized to defend yourself against them. Now hurry on. Your beloved Sam will learn the joys of CIA interrogation if you don't. Now listen, Secret Service boy. If I come out here and Sam is hurt, I will kill first you, then your wife, then your children, and then your dog. I don't have a dog. Then I will fuck your cat. Good old C64. Hey, that's China Sisters. I used to play that a lot. Let's give it a try. But if I ever get out alive, I will buy this awesome remake they have done for PC.
let's take a look at the security software. I guess they were... Oh! Yes! Let's try! No! No! Reset! And let's take a look at the code! Yes! They were dumb enough to do it easily. So... Ah! Alright, here in line 40 we got it! The press for this is Hurricane! But something's wrong. Let's give it a try. I wonder if it has, wonder if it has ever worked. Jerry can is captions and now we start again. Run. Again? Yes, I'm a fucking genius. Those agents weren't fooling around. We got stripped of our clothes and were kneeling for hours, while the stupid agent kept yelling at us. Get down! He called Pete a traitor, a communist spy, a sleeper agent, a disgrace for the US military, a murderer and a coward. I am not sure about all the other defamations, but I'm pretty sure that you can't call him a coward. In the end, they packed us into a Hercules transport plane 
and we started a blindfolded trip that took almost two days to complete. We slept and ate in US military outposts somewhere. What they didn't know is that I have an excellent internal compass. I knew we were in Great Britain when they finally revealed the mission Pete had to undertake to buy our lives and freedom.